how are you doing today my name is anita sandy and it's friday <laughs> yes so it's friday which means it's story time mm -hmm. now on today's story we are going to be talking about an event a true event a true story that actually happened here in africa and to be specific on south africa in the 19th century so uh, this story revolves around two characters, um, James Edwin White and Jack. So, I really couldn't find um, anything about or on their background, but the or, like all the articles that I was reading, it was starting with James, like the events, but it, it doesn't say his background or Jack's background, but it gives detail on what Jack was, you know, all that stuff, his species, his breed, all that. So then, in this story, um, we have, it starts with James, James, James Edwin White. So James Edwin White was employed by the Cape Town Government Railways and he was a, a railway inspector for them. So then James was very popular in this um, in this his his work place because he used he he used to have this like um reckless behavior of jumping on and off moving train train and also he could swing from one rail cut to the other like oftenly so this character of his actually gave him the name of James the Jumper, so he was called, he was famous by the name James the Jumper, that was like his nickname, you know. So then, one day, his, this reckless behavior of his finally caught up with him. And so, accidentally, unfortunately, James f slid and fell under a moving train. But then, fortunately, his friends were close by and they managed to like, you know, pulled him away from the moving train but they never pulled him like <laughs> all of him just his chest like from his knees up uh, unfortunately the train crashed his uh, both of his legs and so they were badly damaged and they had to be amputated oh. poor James so then James you know like his legs, both of his legs were amputated and his work like was like to pick, you know, he used to, he was an inspector, he has to walk around but then he doesn't have legs so like the company f felt like he wasn't useful uh, enough again and so they laid, him ho they laid him off. So James took his time to recover and then upon recovery James decided to like make himself two wooden legs so like actually not legs okay we just use legs but they I'll, 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 I'll like pin a photo you see them but he made those he fashioned those for himself so like when he recovered those would help him move around you know so then uh then james again went back to the railway station and pled for them to like give him a job because you know it's the 19th century and if you're not rich things are hard on you you have to find a way of surviving now the articles i read they never told they they never stated if james was married or not but i guess he wasn't married hear me out i guess he wasn't married because like the next character that i'm going to introduce in the next few minutes was the one who was helping him to do certain chores in the house so i am assuming he wasn't married so then um james going back to the story <laughs> james then recovered and then he fashioned the two wooden legs for himself to move around so then james went back to the railway station and pled with the authorities to like the people in the high rank to like give him a job even if it's not there like if it, even if it's not like his previous job but at least something he can do and earn uh, to help for self upkeep 
like to get money for self self upkeep. So then the authorities agreed to give him a job because honestly he worked there for ten good years without like any no issues were raised that he did this wrongly or that but you know we are human mistakes we do I guess he made mistakes but that's just my own opinion you guys no, none of the articles I read stated that he never did any like any serious felony or any mistakes in his workplace and what I'm getting is he was kind of really good at what he was doing because these people actually gave him like an opportunity but then it was not the position like the inspection position but he was again assigned to the assigned to a certain uh, a different uh, a different railway station called the Witten Hedge Witten Hedge I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but yeah it was the Witten Hedge railways so then he was then appointed over there as the signal man. Now what the signal man and signal man could do is like convey information um, to the conductors of the rail, uh, of the train and also they could like load coal to the rail uh, to the train. It's the 19th century again. I don't know how many times have I said 19th century. Okay, never mind. So it's the 19th century. Back then, um, trains used to use uh, coal as fuel. So then, signalmen are the ones who are supposed to be loading. Like uh, they were the one who was supposed to be loading um, coal when a train stops by. And they also they were to like switch the how do we call it? the the rails. Like, <laughs> gosh. How do I explain this? Unama kama SGR, when you go in a, like, kuna time in Africa, they have to switch, they have to switch rails, like, one has to come this other side and the other come this other side, so, yes, that was the work of signal men. So they used to have, like, levers. Now, if you pull a lever, then it diverts the direction of a, of a, of a train to where it's supposed to be. So that's the that was the work of a, a signal man. So then in 1877, um, when James was was walking around, he went to visit the market and so <laughs> he saw uh, a baboon, a chakma baboon. That was his specie, specie, species. Okay, specie. He was a chakma baboon. So this chakma baboon was actually leading. A, tr uh, a wagon that was uh, he was actually directing a wagon that was being pushed by two oxen and James was really like he was amused by the intelligence of this primate and he decided why not buy it and keep it as a pet okay <laughs> I know nowadays you can't keep wild animal as that like it's not you have to go through the legal process and whatever whatever but some of them are not even legal. Like I don't think if you can keep, can you keep a monkey as as a pet? I don't know. I really don't know. But then I don't even think if you can buy that. Okay, you. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just doing this so that it can keep me busy. Like I don't have to be just staring at the camera and doing nothing okay let's go i'll shut up and get moving with the story so then in 1877 jack so uh, james saw jack which is the chakma baboon in the market and he was impressed by him and so he decided like why not buy this baboon <laughs> i want like this is a side note why wouldn't he just like get help or he never had any family? I really don't know. Hmm. Okay, maybe he never had a family or he never had friends, but he had friends at the train. Why couldn't even one person like just volunteer to help him? Because he was like one famous person in the railway station. I'm wondering why no one offered to help him. 
Chakula. So then, um, James decided to buy this Chakma baboon and take it home. So then, James named this baboon Jack. So, so he was a male, yes, it was a male. Uh -huh. So Jack used to be like his personal assistant. Jack used to, uh, James trained Jack to do like different types of work around the house. Jack used to like sweep the dirty floors and take out trash, you know, those little ch chores. Then moving around for like moving, James found moving from work to home and from home to work a little difficult even though he had designed a wagon for himself that could actually fit on the rails so that he can move around when like loading calls and giving the conductors keys to certain carriages so yeah so he made himself that particular wagon so as time went by jack <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack and James really became friends and James trained Jack how to do like different things with the train station like he could be like his assistant at work and at home so at home he could do the chores the, like the little chores not entirely, entirely everything like you know um, take out the trash and also sweeping the floors watering plants blah 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 that was work for that was what jack used to do for james but then in the train station jack was sent to take like keys to different uh, call sheds so that jack can get call from there and load them on the train so with time people are like people are people who are noticing like uh, this relationship is very rare and it's happening and you're seeing it and you know it's a baboon you can't even believe it can do all that it sometimes most of the time like jack was the support or the one who was loading call because moving you know, james found moving really difficult so jack was helping him then <laughs> um the authorities finally found out that there was a baboon that was working in the company and so they decided like why is this happening by the way it's not supposed to be happening it's not even legal and people are afraid for their safety like they don't trust the baboon can do like such a wonderful work you know so then um uh, the authorities uh, uh, put across a law uh, told James and Jack that they were fired but then before they got fired like before they just before they went um, ja uh, James pleaded with the authorities to like test Jack and know his abilities before like judging and they don't even know what um, Jack is capable of so then a superintendent was brought was brought to the train station and jack was then put to test on what of, on what he can do his capabilities and then what was found out was really fascinating like um jack was brighter than how um james actually thought so on that day, Jack did things like things that James never thought he could do, you know. And so this really made the authorities um, happy, and they decided to like officially, um, officially employ Jack. So then, Jack learned from Jack learned from seeing James doing most of his work like most of them there was some that he was actually taught he was taught how to do but there were some things that most of the things he wasn't even taught how to do he just used to look at what his boss is doing and then he imitates whatever he is doing so like there were times when jack will even load call get the keys uh, go to the uh, that specific call shed get the call load it to the 
load it to the um, to the train and also switch the lever like use the levers to switch the weights for the train i don't know how the rails how they call the rails i really don't know so then um the uh so then uh jack jack was officially employed by the uh, railway station by the railway company and he was being uh, paid like 20 20 cents yeah 20 cents but each day uh for his work like you know you have it as a token of appreciation or not for his work he had to be paid you know he was working and he was like officially employed so these people are not exploiting jack who he he was working there voluntarily and he was being paid which is a good thing so then i did not did i mention this okay jack could not work like what james before james bought jack the owner of jack at that particular time told him every night before jack went to bed he was supposed to be given like like beer a good like a fine beer like those good beers not this cheap like expensive good beer so that if you want him to work the next to work well the next day he had to be given that uh that uh, beer before he went he goes to bed and if he if he wasn't given that particular beer he would be disobedient and he would not work and he would be like just dormant so then it was um as a payment for jack's uh work he was also given each week he was given a half a bottle of fine beer this expensive beer by the company so he was he was being paid 20 cents and a half bottle of uh, beer fine beer fine beer to be specific each week so um jack ended up working at the railway station for nine good years without ever making a single mistake imagine that he never made any single mistake none like nada nothing he never did any mistake imagine for those nine good years so then in in 1890 jack died jack died of tuberculosis yeah that was so unfortunate after nine years of service oh i never told i never told you guys how the authorities found out that um a baboon was working was working in the company so one day as jack was like switching the rails you know like the roads were okay you guys you understand i know you understand so like one day when he was switching those rails there was a woman it's always a woman for some reason it's okay no i'm not saying women but most of the time it's women sincerely so this women this woman sees a baboon that loading uh, switching the levers and he was she was shocked she was afraid for her safety and she was afraid for like maybe anything that the the jack could have done anything wrong because it was a primate and not human being so then she then reported to the authorities that the, that there was a monkey oh let me just call him jack the monkeys i feel like it's disrespectful so um the woman then reported to the authorities that uh jack was actually working in the mini in the in the company and this caused panic attack for a lot of people including some of the authorities and that's why immediate immediate action was needed and immediately jack and jack and james were to be fired you know so yeah that's what went on but then i learned that as i was like going through the through through the articles i also found jackie but i'm not going to give you the story of jackie jackie was also a, a chakma baboon also and I think this Chakma baboons are one of the most intelligent baboons, you know. So Jackie was also a Chakma baboon and he also fought. He actually fought in World War II. 
and different wars and was very uh, was it World War II? No, he just fought in wars. It was never stated which war. Anita Unapenda exaggerate. Hey. Okay. Fine. So then I also fought Jackie and there was also a beer that was actually a soldier. So Jackie was a soldier and he she fought wars and there was also the beer but I don't know the bear. 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 Is it even Anita's video if I don't even pronounce one single word incorrectly? Incorrectly? No, 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 no. That's not possible. So Jackie, um, Jackie was also a soldier and the bear too. But I don't know. I don't know the name of the bear. I didn't find. I didn't really find the name of that particular bear. So then. That's the story of Jack and James. So then, um, that's this inspiring story of um, true story of Jack actually celebrates uh, celebrates the history of of service animals and devoted friendship. Like it celebrates all the animals that have ever you know, service, gave any kind of service, useful service to human being and also devoted friendship which was between Jack and James, which is very good. But then I also found you can, <laughs> people who are read, uh, let me just read, read. Uh -huh. So let me just read for you guys. Uh, these were things that I couldn't really grasp. You know, there are those things that you can't actually put in your mind. That's me. I wasn't good in biology, so definitely this couldn't have got in my mind that easily. So listen up. Listen up, people. I have my little notebook and I'm going to read for you. So Jack was of the Spacey <laughs> Papio. Is it supposed to be Urusinas or Asinas? Okay, Papio Asinas. Let me just use that. Then it, he was of the breed Chakma, baboon. And you can actually just, you can actually see his body if you live in South Africa at the Albany Museum. Is the Albany? Yeah, in the Albany Museum. So he's actually preserved in the Albany Museum. And you can, like, you can always feel free to like go there and see the chakma baboon because this the jack was very intelligent i've never seen anything like that so thank you guys for watching and if you have stayed up to here up to right now thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel please don't forget that and then don't forget to leave a comment below on um i want you guys to comment on whatever on what story you want me to talk about next yeah yes on what story you want me to talk about next and yeah that's it for today you guys have a good day make good choices be safe out there and yeah keep like preserve the wildlife don't just go killing or even the cats are important i don't know why you people see them most of them as like um <laughs> like evil a sign for evil i don't know the cats are really cute anyway i'm just being that's my personal opinion i don't know about you guys so be safe out there if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome and please subscribe to my channel and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do please please do i'll really appreciate that don't mind my hair i'm just doing this to keep me busy and see you guys in my next video bye